Hi everyone, and welcome back to KP Poetry Corner. Um, I've been gone for a couple of weeks, but I'm back. So today I want to share another form of poetry with you. Um, it's called the heroic couplet. So what I'm about to say is probably gonna sound Greek to you, to a lot of you, but stay with me, I'll break it down bit by bit. So the definition of a heroic couplet is a pair of rhyming iambic pentameters. So what that means in layman's terms is that there are two lines and both of them rhyme with each other. Um, and then iambic means that there is a certain pattern of syllables and pentameter means there's five repeating um, sections of that pattern of iambic. Um, I'll create another video breaking down the poetry vocabulary to help anyone who would like to understand that a bit better. The thing with forms is that they're more of a guideline and not a rule for poetry, so there will be some deviation in the poems that I share, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, let's get into it. So here, um, the first poem I'd like to share with you is by Anne Bradstreet. The title is called The Author to Her Book. Thou ill-formed offspring of my feeble brain, who after birth didst by my side remain, till snatched from thence by friends less wise than true, who thee abroad exposed thee to public view, made thee in rags halting to the present to trudge, where errors were not lessened, all may judge. At thy return my blushing was not small, my rambling brand in print, should mother call. I cast thee by as one unfit for light, thy visage was so irksome in my sight. Yet being mine own, at length affection would, thy blemishes amend, if so I could. I washed thy face, but more defects I saw, and rubbing off a spot still made a flaw. I stretched thy joints to make thee even feet, yet still thou runst more hobbling than this meat. In better dress to trim thee was my mind, but not save homespun cloth in the house I find. In this array amongst vulgars mayst thou roam, in critics' hands beware thou dost not come, and take thy way where thou, where yet thou art not known. If for thy father asked, say thou hadst none, and for thy mother she alas is poor, which caused her thus to send thee out of door. The next one we're going to read is by Anne Finch. It's entitled, um, A Letter to Daphnis, April 2nd, 1685. A little old, but still good poetry. This to the crown and blessing of my life, the much-loved husband of a happy wife, to him whose constant passion found the art to win a stubborn and ungrateful heart, and to the world by tenderest proof discovers the heir who say that husbands can't be lovers, with such return of passion as is due, Daphnis I love, Daphnis my thoughts pursue, Daphnis my hopes, my joys are bounded all in you, even I for Daphnis and my promise sake, what I in women censure undertake, but this is from love, not vanity, proceeds, you know who writes, and I trust, and I, who tis that reads. May not my passion, but my want of skill, may love well, though they express it ill, and I your censure could with pleasure bear, would you but soon return and speak it here. So one of the poems that I shared from a previous video was actually also a heroic couplet, if you want to check that out. It was by Robert Frost, and it's called Nothing Gold Can Stay. This last poem that I'm going to read is called A Little Hopeful Song, and it's by Bernadette Hall. I give thee the sun as guarantee, and the Egyptian fans beads, and the little silver ore that was gifted once to an English harbor master. I give thee the silk dress with its triple ruffled sleeves, and the cloaks with big hoods that fall full, though some are pulled in at the central buttons. I give thee with little colored goats that go down on their knees as penitents. I give thee the death mask and the plaster hand of Sean O'Rianda, 
for he is among the best loved of the musicians. So I will put them in the description below as I have previously so that you can read through them and notice the different patterns that they have. Um, thank you for listening and let me know which one was your favorite. Comment below.